Hi, if you don't know me already, I'm Kat from the Wild Alaskan Company recipe team. Today, we are going to show you how to make a fish melt classic all-American sandwich. But instead of using tuna, we're going to use wild-caught fish. And yes, some of you may have noticed that I'm not in my kitchen today, but Sinana is going to be taking over as chef for the day, and she's going to be making a fish melt. The thing that I really like about this recipe is that I'm always looking for new ways to enjoy leftover fish because I do have leftover fish from time to time. Let me pass this over to Sanana so she can start cooking. Sanana, which species are you using today? So I actually have cod that's right here. Um, it's leftover from yesterday because I baked a bunch of fillets. So I wanted to go ahead and use that and make it into a fish melt. I have over here our cod that was baked yesterday. And I have a quarter cup of celery that's finely chopped and some chives here. Also have some red onion. Definitely want to use red instead of white because it will add a little bit more of flavor. I have the quarter cup of mayo here. You can adjust that based on your taste. And then some lemon for zesting later. I also have a tablespoon of butter that's going to go in the pan to toast the brioche buns and slices of American cheese. You can use American cheese, cheddar cheese, whichever one is your preference. Reference. But we can go ahead and get started in getting this together. So what I'm going to do is just add the already flaked cod. So it's already cooked, it's already flaked into little bits. Very easy to use. And mix it up nicely. You can see everything's coming together like a spread. It smells great. Now, while I'll let this sit here for a moment, I'm gonna go ahead and take this brioche bun and put it on the pan with this butter and I'll bring it over once toasted. I'm just over here letting the butter melt on the pan and I'm gonna add the um, bun in with this as the face down. And this is the nice bun that we got here. So I'm gonna do it two ways. We'll go ahead and put it on this bun and I'm also gonna make it on a cold sandwich because it can also be eaten cold if you don't prefer the fish to actually be melted. And this was just one six ounce filet of cod. So you can see you can, depending on the slider options, if you are using it for on a bun, brioche buns come in a few different sizes. So depending how thick or thin you want to make them, you can make multiples. And then I'll go ahead and put a slice of cheese on there and then I'll close the top. So I'm going to put this back in the pan and then I'm going to cover it for a couple of minutes off heat though. So I toasted the brioche bun on medium heat earlier, but now I'm going to put it back on there and cover it. However, I won't turn the gas back on. Mine is actually a very high flame, so it might get overly toasted. But if you have a lower flame, you can turn it back on and leave it on low heat. This will be the cold one. So as I mentioned, you can eat this whole since the cod was already cooked. And even after putting it on here, I still have more left over. So that one filet that goes a long way. And then I'll put ahead another slice of cheese. That's American cheese. And then this is your whole version ready to go. So we'll have that here. Wow, Sanana, that melt looks amazing. Thank you. So as you can see, this lid did press down on the sandwich a little bit. Depending on your preference, you may want it to press down for a melt. You could also, again, have it on heat if you prefer it to get a little bit more toasted or a little bit more melted. Mine is still trapped in the heat, so you can see that the cheese is melting along the corners. And that brown butter all along, all around the, the bun. So this looks ready to me. And there you go. You can really see that cheese melted. And it's nice and toasted and it got a little bit smaller. You can see the cold one versus the melt. Now let's go ahead and try this. Wow. You would never think that this kind of fish melt would taste better than a fried fish filet, which was my favorite. But this actually beats that one, I would say. Really good. Definitely going to eat this. That looks amazing, and I think it's it's great to see a single filet sort of stretched between two different sandwiches, so you almost have leftovers of your leftovers, unless you're sharing with someone here. Love how this looks, and I'm very hungry watching you make this and wish I was cooking today, but let's go ahead and wrap things up. Yeah, that's 
going to be the end of today's event. I hope this inspires you to try something new and fun with your leftovers. Um, maybe a melt like this. I'm really loving the, the lid on the sandwich uh, technique that you're using there, Sinana. Next week, both of us will be back. I am going to be cooking golden milk stew with coconut milk, summer vegetables, herbs, and whatever kind of fish you want to use, even shellfish if you have something like shrimp in the freezer. So until then, uh, thanks for coming and live wild, everybody.